Watch quirky, slapstick, romantic, and witty comedies only on erosnow.com. Rolling! Action! This is completely experience. But all I can see is, is this. But it's really a tough job, yes. Things that are not possible or um, rather difficult to do in a live action film, you can do with this technology. Kocharyan Kadai is a special one, Kocharyan is a character. Coach Dayan is the first fully CG stereoscopic film to release in India. The Counterpunch team was extremely fortunate to be in it from almost the beginning. Weird but different and also fun. It's the first time it's happening. Photorealistic performance capture technology is a film which is done with the actors performing actually with 40 cameras shooting at the same time and translated into a digital image chosen by the director to give a fantasy feel. New technology should be uh, encouraged and welcome. Cinema thanudaya nooraavad aandu halatthai kondaadi itt rukhe. Andha kala kattathil, andha nooraavad aandu cinema avukku uru tribute pandra madhari, andha uru samarpanam uru pandra madhari, andha nooraavad aandu cinema avukku samarpanam pandra madhari, uru padatthai vandhu pannir kaangana andha padam kochirayam maa. There's something very new for Indian cinema and uh, the way we shot it, it's a complete different, you know, experience for me. Frankly speaking, I spoil you totally. It's like an empty spaceship. It's not easy to shoot in that stage in there. It's going to set a whole new standard for future. It's a great start for this. Working with Rehma, this is the best music that's going to be this culture. First movie made in India to now motion captured Kocharya. It's uh, great to be a part of it and I'm loving it. <laughs> motion capture is essentially like a big sat nav system where our, the markers that we place on the body are actually cars and the cameras around the studio are like the satellites that track them. Four cartridge songs and the love and the fights, the love and the usual live number and the local panamia. The larger than life aspect in terms of sets and in terms of our location, we were able to achieve with this technology, but the restriction became the fact that it had to be realistic. And the element of fantasy was not something we could uh, explore with. So that was a, another big challenge that we faced in Kuchere. What we have to do is capture a generic set of expressions that cover the basic musculature of the face and we also have to get a set of expressions that is very specific to the actor, such as a smirk or a smile, something that only they do. Indian cinema going such big places and I'm really happy to be a part of this. Usually uh, when we go to the set we find big you know, physical sets and hundreds of actors, junior actors and you know, co-actors. But here, I had to imagine everything. There's no sweat, there's no grime, there's no dust. You, you're supposed to be in between thousands of people and uh, there are no people around you. I feel this is going to be a very good year. There's no costumes, there's no, there's no co-actors, there's nothing else. It's just me imagining that you're either on a mountain or you're walking up, or there's this lightning and there's this mu mu music and there's nothing actually. So you just have to, have to imagine and you have to work out of that. We're not just experimenting with the technique, but also with the kind of film that she's making. This is not facial Okay. Even like a normal reaction, no dialogue, even but not face. We're doing helmet cameras on all the principal actors so we get um, full detail of all their facial expressions captured. We were extremely pleased with how well the DH characters match the likeness and the performance of the actors at their current age. Motion capture already has its own challenges including imagining all the set and the situation. But on this particular one there's a few other challenges, especially language. 
Everything I have to imagine and do it. You can't do certain steps if you have the head cam on. So you have to do the steps separately uh, for to mark the body, and then you do the, the face separately for the expressions. You have to create everything in your mind and you have to react to those things, which is something really tough as an actor for me. I've enjoyed it, but it's such a lot of challenge to keep in mind what sort of costume she must be wearing, what sort of movement I should give over here. For me, it's a very exciting thing. I'm looking forward to what she's going to do. More than her dad. <laughs> <laughs> it's been very, very hectic, but it went really well and um, managed to finish a lot of the scenes we had planned and it came out better than what I had uh, initially had in mind. The making of Kuchirian was such a huge challenge. And so far what I've seen is like Gracie. Uh, uh, it's got a lot of commercial elements in it. Uh, whatever is required for Talever. This is a, not an ordinary work at all. Because when you have everything at your place, a goda hai, pandra bees admiya hai, unke saad aap lad rahe hai, ye, if you can see the knife or the sword, you can react to it. But here, nothing. It's just an imagination. Everything will be put in. So it was such a big challenge that Bapra Bap and uh, it's a very heavy, tedious work and it's completely paperwork. Second movie with Rajini sir, uh, first was Endiran. Uh, he always loved my work. The kind of responsibility Soundarya and Rajini sir and Dr. Murli has taken over their shoulder is enormous and huge because it's never been done before. Uh, this, is, uh, this is not just uh, you know India's first uh, performance capture film. Uh, this is world's, uh, I would say, uh, first attempt to make um, a bygone actor come alive and be part of uh, uh, today's entertainment. Working with Rahman, uh, I don't know if there's anything to be talked about it. We, we respect each other, we love each other. The music takes the film to a different level. Uh, the orchestra scores really help to make it really big and large. that I went and uh, discussed about using my father's voice was Rahman sir. And his immediate reaction was, why not? No one's done it, so why don't we ask him and do it? We just decided to do it in such a way where uh, we, did, we didn't make Appa too conscious. So we wrote the lyrics, uh, we, he composed the tune, and we just said, I told my dad one day, saying, Appa, why don't you come to the studio because we're recording songs. So he dropped by and Rahman sir, then and there asked him saying, sir, we want your voice in this one song and this is the feel of the song and my father agreed instantly. So the song which you're going to hear which has uh, Rajni sir's voice in it happened like that. Visual effects technology, motion control, uh, digital technology has taken great strides in Hollywood and around the world. Uh, Kocha Dayan is uh, the first movie in India to use this cutting edge digital technology uh, to provide the audience with a movie-going experience, which I think the parents and children will all enjoy. I would like to wish my good friend Rajni and his daughter Sandria, who directed the film, along with the cast and crew, 
who have worked so hard to provide this uh, extraordinary digital experience uh, to the public. Uh, I hope you will all go and see it and uh, I wish my friends the very best for a very, very successful film. This is future.